No, no, I went to the bus stop. All right, everybody, uh, perfectly 7.30. Welcome to the uh, Village of Skokie Appearance Commission meeting for November 9th when you were dropping off your applications for building permits. You were given instructions as to what we were beginning doing here tonight. Uh, we have just a few cases, uh, that, judging by the comments that this Commissioner DeMario will be reading into the record when we call your case. Uh, it should be expeditious tonight. Um, the meeting is on live TV, so everybody be on your best behavior. When I call a case, <coughs> please, whoever the applicant is, come up to either one of the podiums. On a residential case, people, uh, neighbors around have been notified of this meeting. Uh, they are welcome to speak. If they have a case that they want to uh, speak to, they can come up as well. Everybody who's going to speak tonight, uh, everybody and anybody who's coming up to speak, please rise and be sworn in. If you're just here to watch, feel free to. If you don't get sworn in, you can uh, give right. testimony. Uh, raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you give tonight will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. Before we get started, does somebody want to make a motion to approve the minutes from the previous meeting? I move that we approve the minutes of October 12, 2022. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So passed. Okay. Uh, when I call your case, this gentleman Brian Augustine over here will be throwing the documents up on the uh, screen for us to look at. So we're going to get right into this and we're going to call case 2022-61A at 9530 Central Park Avenue. It's a first floor addition. Is, are they here? Okay. Uh, the staff has no objections to the propo proposed elevations. The proposed addition blends in nicely with the existing home. How are you? Great. Additions in additions in the rear yard. That's it to the right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Not really. No. Uh, if we have any questions, we'll ask you. I mean, we'll have a couple questions. What is the material? Is that a, just a vertical <coughs> siding of some sort? Vertical yes. cedar. Right, and then that side's a horizontal. Sure. I like the uh, I like the uh, clear story window. Mm -hmm. 
Looks very nice. Anybody have any comment one way or the other? It's a great design and it was a really great package to review. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Mary Jane, why don't you uh, make a motion? Mary, move. Jane, Mary Jane likes the flower boxes too. Definitely. <laughs> I like the whole thing. I move that a certificate of appropriateness be granted to case 2022 61 a at 9530 Central Park Avenue as presented. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So passed. I know you wanted to describe this beautiful project, but <laughs> we do get advanced packages on it. and uh, so. But thank you very much. It looks very nice. It'll be wonderful. And I have to say, again, the package was really yeah. easy to read. It was really well, well put together. Are you the architect? Pardon? Are you the architect? The OK, great. Well, if you can do any, any more jobs in Skokie, it would be appreciated. <laughs> Uh, case 2022-063A at 7701 Lincoln Avenue. Uh, now we are on the, in the commercial cases. This is for commercial signage. Uh, staff has no objections to the pro proposed signage. Any signage at the intersection of a driveway and public walkway will need to remain outside of the 15-foot <coughs> site distance triangle. I plan. Keep, yeah, keep going. If, if just let, any, just is let there me anything know. non-compliant, Brian? Uh, I had our sign inspector review it. He said no. The site triangle question came right. up okay. about making sure okay. about but it. I just want to know that going in, if there was anything that we needed to. Uh, it's all just wayfinding signage for parking, so far as what I see. I'm sorry, say that again. I'm sorry. The existing's in the top oh, okay, corner. In, in the top corner. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Are all of these uh, overlays uh, over existing? Or just, all right, you knew. Just the one large one? Just that one. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. <coughs> Looks fine. I, I don't have any comment one way or the other. I do. Have at it. And it's uh, it's actually really simple. Um, the last um, <coughs> the last group of signs that are all gray. Um, there's a lot of words and everything on them. That's fine. I understand what you're trying to do, but I'm just curious why you didn't use oak and green on the oak leaf on the bottom on the just gray signs. Because as I was staring this at it. This is the oak dunes. Okay. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I was just kind of curious because as I was staring at it, I was like, well, why aren't they using the oak and green, which is on the kind of correct, which is a thread that runs through all of it. Yeah, and this this was all done through a design. Again, it's not a big deal. It's at the ground level. You're looking at all the words, so it's not. I just, I was just kind of curious why that was an oversight or a decision. But cool. Okay. All right, go ahead, Tom. Uh, sure. I move that a certificate of appropriateness be granted for case number 2022-063A at 7701 
uh, Lincoln Avenue as presented um, uh, being mindful of the 15 foot site triangle distance for any uh, signage um, and giving the owner the uh, option of making the gray signs um, uh, more colorful. More colorful. Anybody second? <laughs> second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any thank opposed? You. No opposed. So pass. All right. Thank you. Case 2022-062A 4847 Old Orchard Center for commercial facade. Uh, the staff has no objections to the proposed elevation changes. Staff is in favor of the elevation makeover. The new elevations appear more modern and inviting. Uh, Hi, guys. How you doing? Good. Uh, my name is Mike Noonan. I'm a land use zoning attorney with Foley and Lardner. Um, here with me is Eric Harder. He's a project architect. Okay. Um, this is for 4847 Old Orchard Road, Suites 101 through 104, the former Lord and Taylor box. Um, the applicant here is the owner. We're proposing new facades, new exterior amenities, pavement treatments, new layouts, and new signage. Um, the tenants uh, will be, <coughs> probably be back here for their signage or yeah. other unique things. Yeah, once, um, once you book them. Right. Yep. I've got pavement samples here if anyone's interested. In no. Uh, only in that. <coughs> The fact that this is Old Orchard, we're only looking at it because we can see it. If it was internal to Old Orchard, we wouldn't even have to be looking at it. So, right. so it, we're really mostly concerned about the facades. Thank sure. you. So that's the, go go up one. So that's the old parking lot in front of the old restaurant there, uh, with the bagel or whatever it was called back there. Right? I believe. All right, just to give us a run through on the, what, what you're doing materially. Um, so material wise, a lot of what you see is actually um, not really within our control. That will be presented by the tenants. So, and the trick with these box conversions is to create a holistic design, but then also allow for the tenant to express their trade dress. So the materials, where's the board? Well, the I, that you see here, well I, uh, I know you say that, but that looks like a skin of brick on top of the old box. Right, and you're you're going to be cutting windows into it and yeah, all so sorts we're, of stuff. Yes. So, so that's what you're going to build. <laughs> yes. And so that's, that's not under tenant control, is it? Well, there's uh, okay. So what you see on the screen there, to the right, where you see those little uh, yeah, like wall things. mural. That's, yeah. that's the existing. That's just paint. Right. That's paint and mural. Yeah. Um, Material-wise, between the tenants, there'll be um, neutral piers. So those are metal, and that's kind of like the gray metal you see on here. Okay. And then between the two tenants, um, top and bottom on this corner view, there'll be like a little reveal mm -hmm. between them. That'll be that same metal. Actually, that's that would be more like a dark bronze color that we're proposing. But then what you see as far as like the treatment that's on where it says tenant, <laughs> that vertical piece, that that final material will be by the tenant. So we're suggesting that that's going to be um, you know like a, a stone veneer or something of that sort. Uh, but that's actually not fully under our control because the tenant will want to have some say in that. So you're saying that pier with the sign that says tenant is not under review tonight? It's not. Okay. Not and you guys are aware of that? Uh, <coughs> we were not aware of that. So I'm, if there's major changes, then... I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is, could, is, is we, it, yeah, my assumption is then we're coming back if, because that's... Right, but we're coming back now for who knows what that pier wants to be. I mean, I'm okay. I... Quite honestly, anything would look better than what's there now, as you all know. Um, but if it, if it was just without the peers, I'd be fine with it. I get just yeah, the, I the, the point is, is that you're telling us that that's not under. You're showing it to me, but yet it's not yeah. there. Yes. So I don't know what we do here, Brian. Well, I mean, if it's substantial in compliance with this plan is presented that's one thing but if there's a whole new look then we will be coming tenants right. will be coming back so to who, who the is, appearance who's commission. the who's the developer who represents the, the mall owner are they here tonight yeah okay so you're aware of the fact that uh, time you got to swear them in because oh, it wasn't here yep he's raised right and you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is the truth truth whole truth and nothing but the truth i do okay great so i don't know if you've 
followed what we were saying so far, but I was. but <coughs> if if you have, you know bring in I don't know, office depot whatever the heck it is, and we don't like what they got there, we're going to say no, we want this. So you're at risk, is what I'm saying. Right. I mean, I think I think the the point of it was it would be substantially just like this with just the tenant signage. It may be being different. Yeah, and, and literally, I, and we'd be fine with that. Yeah. But, but but I was hearing that it might be the whole pier itself. Um, not that I. Am okay, aware of. that's fine. And yeah. so we're saying if we're looking at this, and the only thing that might change in the future, obviously, is whatever the tenants. Yeah, like. I don't know the if there's store. like a conditional approval that if no 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 we, we, we can we can approve this yeah. but we're approving you're, you're saying right right. Yeah. <laughs> right but if somebody comes in and says we want well, we like want we want an orange red beer or right, right, yeah. right 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 okay no, cool we want a blade cool. sign yeah it'll be like orange. this just right. with the tenant signage right. whatever the brand is Got just it. right right exactly where those spots are good yeah good cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once you get the file, and, and it might not even be a sign that we even have to get even, may not even have to get to us. So they may make it better. No. You could, yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. That's all I had for you. I'm sorry. Sir. Sounds good. Um, any questions, Joe? Yeah, the uh, the shade structure and the, the space frame there um, on the uh, the lower right um, that is part of the proposed improvements. It it might be it is, right now currently that is it is. The pergola looking thing there, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's because I kind of liked how that all fit together and kind of brought that. it back down yeah. to the <coughs> pedestrian level. We're pushing it's such for a that. Big building. The idea is that, the idea with the whole design is to reactivate that facade. So that's what we're pushing for that tenant on the upper level to pull back that storefront uh, and actually have that be, uh, you know, whether it's an animal or something that could be enclosed you know, during the winter months, they can still use it. The same with down below, um, you know, we're encouraging that to be an outdoor seating area for that tenant at the ground. At the ground. And the upper outdoor space is also, you know, that little balcony you got cut in. Yeah, That's what he was talking about. Yeah. So, so go back up to the original one we looked at. So th is that not there or is it there? It is there. Okay. The, wait, what, what are you referring to? Is the pergola is, out there? Is, is, the, is the, 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 Shade structure. Yeah, shade structure, the awning structure, and the and the balcony, for lack of a better, the recessed balcony. That's all included in this project. That it's going to be by the tenants. <laughs> I'm going to have to get him back up here again. <laughs> because what I'm, I, I know what, I know what you're saying, and I get all that. I'm in, yeah. I'm in the business, but what I'm saying is, it's materially different if if it's if we're not building it with that niche. I, I think that's what the goal is. Um, some some retailers and some brands want a certain image or a certain look mm -hmm. to match, you know, nationwide what they look like. Um, we're not expecting major changes. I think this is what we're going okay. to end with. Because um, if know, we if we approve it, we're expecting it there until you, and then you'll have to come back in and change it. Absolutely, we, okay. we fully understand. That. Cool. Let's move on. Sorry. Yeah. I really like the design as you presented yeah, it. And same I think here, it's absolutely. Really great. Yeah. I like the wall graphics. Um, I think those are important. I think that's um, really makes it sexy. Um, all the way over to the on the far end. Um, I like the notch that you cut out of it, and I like how you brought it down to the pedestrian level on that side. Um, I think it's going to make the mall that much more. We're excited just about it. I think it's it's a long long time coming, and uh, like you said, reactive. Like Said reactivating that building, especially on that backside, mm -hmm. because even when Morgan Taylor was there, it was almost like a backside of a. Of yeah, it looked like. Yeah. And it's and it's front facing, so right. you really want to make a statement with it and make, make it look, make it look awesome. Take the attention off of the garbage area. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we're, we'll we'll address that as well. Yeah, I got you. All right, cool. Anybody have any other comments, or somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion. All right. I, I move the certificate of appropriateness be granted for case number. Um, 2022-062A, um, located at uh, Old Orchard, uh, as presented. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 No opposed, so passed. All right, thank, thank you. Care. Thank you. you. Sure. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, case 2001, 2019, we're going back in time, uh, 024A at 8000 Niles Avenue, updated building <laughs> facade. Uh, just to correct, it's uh, 042A.
Um, is, oh, is it four two or is it two four? Because this, they four, two. they got two uh, four there and four two there. Brian. Brian, what case number is this? It this should be one? two four. All right. Um, never mind. Uh, the staff is in favor of having more windows on the top floor of the north elevation and not recessed EFIS panels. Staff prefers the metal siding over the EFIS at the northwest corner of the building. Staff has no objections to the other proposed changes. Okay, so tell me, where were we and what are we now? I'll leave that to you guys. Where were we and where are we okay. now? Excuse me. I, I was waiting for Brian to pull yeah, up the picture. Brian's slow. I understand. So what we have, uh, first off, I'll address the windows. Um, as you know, this project has been uh, it languished for a long time, and we finally got it off uh, the mark. So once we went through and did full interior layouts uh, on the eighth floor where the sky bar is going to be located, we had windows located on the uh, eighth floor. That it turns out that those windows will be blocked because of bar area. So in, a, uh, in an effort to get some cost savings and to try to offset part of our um, steep increase in, that we've seen in, in costs associated with the project, uh, we're proposing the number of windows being reduced on the north side, which will uh, from a total of eight windows to a total of six. Am I saying that correctly? Okay, we're proposing eight on the south side because they were more proposed. This is facing north away from Oakland Street, correct? correct? Yes. Okay. This, this faces the uh, parking garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What it does, it gives us more functionality. Un understood. Table. Understood. <coughs> What, what other changes are we looking at? Um, once we get to the upper elevations, we're looking at changing the metal panels out with EFIS. Again, it's a cost saving measure. Um, with that being a newer design of EFIS, it will be, have a metal uh, look uh, and it will be well above street level. So, yeah. to, to add to that, there's a, there's a cost component to it, but um, we actually received this new. As superior to the metal panel from the perspective that the vast majority of those buildings. This is it? Yes, this is it. Okay. The vast majority of the building is already used and to have the continuity of materials with the same weather area behind and have one facade material is actually a higher performing material. Yeah. Um, and this is the comparison of the metal to the piece. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're proposing is we have a sample that's in production of this. Mm -hmm. with Okay. There, there's a gloss on the piece that's, oh, okay. um, that's a protective coating. Well, it's got a smoother look to it. And, and is this the, that, that, I don't want to say yellow, that, the tanner color? That's, that's the, the majority of the building. Correct, right. Okay. Why don't you show these people the, the colors and how they. I just saw one rendering where that, that, Neutral color looked really yellow. <coughs> I just hope we're not going in that direction. It's a little bit of. of yeah, that. Oh, oh, oh go back. We're not doing that, are we? It's in shadow. It's I know, but it. Okay. Trust me, I won't be happy to use that yellow either. <laughs> is the uh, is the brick still there that I'm or whatever I'm looking at there? Yes. Okay, so that's all still there. Yeah. The other changes that the staff said they were fine with were really. Most of the fenestration changes that came out of an update with the local green scene. Mm -hmm. um, so we tried to maintain as much continuity as possible. Go ahead. Um, my biggest concern about the changes, the EFIS, I, I like the new, the, the shiny EFIS. I think it's, it's, a, it's a suitable replacement. Um, the two points that I've got questions about are, on this elevation, on the sky bar level, there used to be two windows on the top floor, and now there's none. Uh, yeah, up on the top, and there's uh, like a scored horizontal, and then on the new elevation, um, 
it's not scored. Or I guess it, it's it's probably your rendering. Is that a your is that a that's a blade sign, isn't it? Yeah, which which I think is great, but you're lacking the two windows, and I think one of the suggestions was to do an inset panel that mimics the window. Granted that it's um, you know it's pretty high up. I think the inset is important. I think that that vertical element is really important to bring all the way up to the top and not have a, uh, a blank, whatever eighth floor or whatever that is. <coughs> so yeah, what is what is up on that floor where those windows were removed? That, that's the guest room. So one of the challenges we have is making sure we have bathroom space. So it's like yeah. a suite. So is that is that the back <coughs> is that the is that the suite I'm looking at on the corner and the bathrooms to the rear? Yeah, I mean I agree with Joe. We got you got to do something up there to. to yeah, or, yeah, see, there it is. Only it's those, yeah. Yeah. Two windows. So uh, yeah, I think you, you got to do something. It, it, uh, is there going to be that fenestration and the ephus up there? So we were proposing this. Oh, that's the alternate. Yeah, and that's okay. that's what I'm responding yeah. to. Is okay. That, uh, the the re the recess panel I think is important. Personally, I, you know I I can't speak for the board, uh, for the commission, but um, it just. Given that vertical element, I think um, it, it needs to be brought all the way up, in my opinion. Okay. Um, my, my other concern is um, the other corner, um, the, um, the the far uh, southeast corner. Um, originally, you had mimic the kind of the streetscape, the main street streetscape, with a kind of a building, um, just it's kind of a fake building. And I understand the mechanical engineers probably spanked you and said you got to have more. Um, air, you need more air um, for the for the, the, your condenser units and stuff. My thought is there is that that just it, it just doesn't it, it just seems you know I like the the horizontal element of the the second floor and all the outdoor space and I understand what you're trying to do, but it seems that if we if we do redevelop further east, that corner is kind of important. Because there's a parking lot there now, and it that the original design kind of created a, an edge, and now it's kind of a softer edge. If you were to bring up the piers um, where it says storefront glazing system, you've got a like a five foot pier on either side of that glazing system. If you brought that up and created a corner pier, and then did your screens in between, I think you'd still like built have, it, like it's built in louvers instead of. Yeah, where you bring you bring these up to here and create a again you can create the storefront. You can still get your square footage of open airspace for your condensers and everything. And you've got the masons out there already, so it's like it's not like we're I, I hear what you're saying and, and I would really like to do that. Um, what we're being told by the engineers is that they really need every single square foot that we provide. That they'd like us to have a lower screen as well, uh, just for all the mechanical that's there. Um, that, that's the whole re rationale. We, we have that brow uh, that we're maintaining, and it's all in metal, and we're just carrying that same language across, but then we filling it in that corner because we felt at least we needed something that was more opaque there. Um, I get the it. I get it. I, I, I understand. I, you know, they're. they're the pocket protector guys are. are um, <laughs> Show me the old and the new yeah, again, Brett. Unfortunately, they're the ones that have to approve it. Okay. As I said, I really okay. like the horizontal okay. element of the open space that you've got. Um, maybe a solution is to accentuate that instead of you know more kind of creating more of a uh, an emphasis on that corner on the roof line. Maybe maybe it's just it's punching it up because what I'm seeing now is is that it just kind of. There's no edge. With, it just with kind the, of with the rendering, seeing it in a rendering. I guess there's a rendering of the. Um, <coughs> the yeah, it's the the thing that the, the your problem is is that the original rendering 
is great with the fake kind of the, the, the yeah, design. Yeah, unfortunately, our end user telling us that it's No, and I, it's you don't need to, I, I understand. I is that all mechanical equipment for the lower tenants? There's, there's a lot of crap up there. So you can't pull up the pier on the, the far left-hand side of this drive. So you can't pull that up because you need every every square inch. Yeah, this is about the fourth iteration of this where I yep. take away and take away. If you were to take that the roof line of that area and just accentuate it and just pop it, you know, maybe, it's, maybe it's doubling it, maybe it's creating a little bit more overhang. I know you've got right away and sidewalk and all that stuff to deal with but if you go back to the rendering my i guess my issue is is that you did such a good job on the original design you've kind of screwed yourself because now it just kind of floats off into space if you were to take something to create that an edge and it might be just a, a horizontal element at the eave line that, that way you're not screwing with your 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 ventilation space but you're creating an edge at this point, right? Because ideally, we've got this that may have <coughs> in the next 10 years. And it, it just, it, it's, I, I think it's, I think it's an important edge. Again, this is my opinion. No. Um, and what you've asked for is, I don't think this is going to be a cost. So I right. appreciate it. Mean, we just don't want you to celebrate a bunch of mechanical equipment that looks like, oh shit, this is what. On the me. east edge of your development. <laughs> that this is where we had to put this equipment, and it looks like we just dropped it in there. So make every it look like. I make it look coming from the east. Every time yeah. I see it, I'm going to see just the east make, end. Just and make I go it look like we planned, you, you planned for it. And, and There's bring, a way of doing it. Bring it into the I, structure instead of just having it stand out there as mechanical equipment. If you look at your top element on, the, on your tower on the west end, You've got that um, really kind of cool um, cornice element, that kind of a shade thing. On there. You know, maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's it's taking that and just maybe bringing it back a little bit because you've got the right of way to deal with it, overhangs and all that stuff. But it's it's creating another side of the building. Understood. And there is a brow there, and it is continuous. Yeah. Um, and it's a similar fashion. It's just a diminutive version of what's at the top. But it's continuous all the way over the open space. So you're, you're suggesting just accentuate Bump it up, it. Yeah. yeah. Bump it up at that point. Mark, I think that's reasonable. Yeah, I, I, I have no problem with that. My only, my only concern is time. If we have to come back and represent it. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, it, uh, it's, no, it's not. Don't worry about time. You've been waiting three years anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, any other comments, Joe? That's um, those those, yeah. Yeah. the The other th the other question I had, but I understood why you did, is above the restaurant sign, and how you changed the <coughs> windows. I don't have a problem with that at all. It looks it looks fine. Um, I was kind of curious about it, but um, I see why you did it with the guest rooms. Tom or Mary Jane, anything? No, I'm good. Okay, Joe, why don't you make the uh, motion based on you know to that. Front upper element, and we're okay with the windows on the north face. And you can describe the. Um, Actually, I've got a really easy way of doing this. Go ahead. Um, and I'm going to suggest it first before I make a motion. Okay. On the east side, and the all the way up at the top at your sky bar, you've got a, a really wide overhang, you know, a, a kind of a wide um, uh, cornice, or whatever that would be called. If you mimic that over that over that that corner. I think that would help. Up, up above Brian's arrow there? That yeah, that, that edge right there, if you mimic that at that at that one edge over your um, over your area, I think that solves it. It creates, it, it makes it distinctive, makes that corner distinctive, and kind of creates a really nice crisp edge of your building on the, on the streetscape. So, <coughs> Go ahead. Yeah, it should be easy. <coughs> Does that work for you guys? Yes. Oh, I thought you meant for us. It's, yeah, it's, it's using the same materials. It's using your same your 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 same.
contractors, it's it's actually should be pretty simple to achieve. Um, I move that a certificate of appropriateness be granted for case number. Um, are we using okay? Twenty four. Um, two zero one nine dash zero two four a. Um, located at uh, Oakton or uh, eight zero zero nine Niles Avenue, um, with the inclusion of a cornice element at the um, southeast corner that mimics the southeast corner of the sky bar um, element. Um, rear, rear window. You okay with the rear window? I, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. No. Well, you know. Um, and, and as presented, I guess. As presented. With the alternate. Uh, with the alternate, um, is that the eighth floor? Recess. Yeah. A eighth floor recess panel. <coughs> Anybody second? I second that. All in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? No opposed? So passed. I appreciate All right. It. Good Thank luck, you. guys. <coughs> any other business? I don't believe so. I got a question. We will adjourn the meeting at... 804.